the Red Sea crisis and its economic toll on the Horn of Africa. Hello and welcome. I'm Jarenita Spahe and this is News Analytica. The Red Sea has become a battleground with tensions escalating over the past four months and showing no signs of abating. What began as Houthi militants attacking Israeli affiliated cargo ships near the Yemeni coast in November 2023 has evolved into a complex crisis with far reaching implications. At least 15 ships have been damaged by Houthi attacks, one UK owned cargo ship has sunk, and tragically, three sailors have lost their lives so far. Just this week, Yemeni Houthis fired missiles at a Liberian flagged container ship in the Red Sea, highlighting the ongoing threat to maritime security in the region. The global ramifications of these attacks are becoming increasingly evident. However, it's the Horn of Africa that bears the brunt of the impact, grappling with heightened political and security concerns as a result. From the US-UK backed operation in the Red Sea to the MOU signed between Ethiopia and Somaliland, and Turkey's assertion of control over the Somali coast, the region finds itself in a complex web of intersecting interests and conflicts. In today's episode, we delve into the Red Sea crisis and its impact with a special focus on the Horn of Africa. Since November 2023, Yemen's Houthis have been launching missile and drone attacks against commercial vessels in the Gulf of Aden and the Southern Red Sea in opposition to Israel's actions in Gaza. Despite claims that they target only Israeli-affiliated ships, vessels with no apparent connection have also been attacked, causing disruptions to global shipping. The Red Sea is a vital maritime route, facilitating approximately 12% of global trade and 30% of global container traffic annually. However, the ongoing crisis has led to significant disruptions, with over 18 shipping lines now avoiding the Suez Canal, opting for longer and costlier routes around southern Africa. This rerouting has led to a surge in shipping rates and increased voyage times, impacting global trade dynamics. Already, shipping rates from North Asia to the east coast of the United States have surged by 137%, while rates from North Asia to the west coast have increased by 131% for container compared to early October. The initial response from the US was Operation Prosperity Guardian, which was aimed at deterring Houthi maritime attacks through a naval coalition primarily composed of Western powers. However, by January, it was evident that the operation had failed to achieve its objectives. Moreover, escalating tensions between Iran, the US and the UK threatened to exasperate Houthi aggression and escalate the conflict to other regions. Additional tensions between Somalia, Ethiopia and Somaliland over port deals in the Bab al-Mandab Strait, coupled with Egypt's involvement as a related security and political complication affecting the wider region. Furthermore, the Turks have entered the fray with a deal signed with Mogadishu to defend Somalia's coastline against violations, which analysts believe is expected to serve as a warning to Ethiopia over its deal with Somaliland. Egypt, however, looks to be the country that stands to lose the most from the escalation of conflicts in the Red Sea. The transit fees collected from ships passing through the Suez Canal serve as a vital source of revenue and foreign exchange for the Egyptian government. Last year alone, Egypt generated close to $10 billion from these fees. However, the current crisis has taken its toll with a 40% reduction in canal revenues. This decline places immense pressure on Egypt's economy, highlighting the profound impact of the ongoing Red Sea crisis. The impact of the crisis on East African countries, including on Ethiopia, Uganda and Kenya, cannot be overlooked. These nations heavily rely on the Red Sea for exports and face the prospect of significant delays. For instance, Uganda dispatches over 75% of its coffee products to EU countries via sea routes. Ethiopia depends on the port of Djibouti along the Red Sea, which handles 95% of its trade. Since 2022, Kenya has been transitioning 50% of its fresh produce exports through this route. As the crisis persists, these East African countries face not only logistical and economic challenges, but also the heightened risk of escalating conflicts in a region already saturated with a number of tensions and active violence. While these crisis wreaks havoc in the Red Sea, Western African countries are seeing increased opportunity to collect more revenues from shipping services. Ports in South and West Africa are experiencing a surge in traffic volumes with an increase of almost 70%. Even smaller ports in countries like Namibia and Mauritius are reaping the benefits of this unexpected windfall. 
Despite this silver lining, the ongoing crisis poses a threat to the stability of the Horn of Africa. Unfortunately, there appears to be no immediate solution to the crisis, leaving the Horn to grapple with uncertainty. That is all for today. Thank you for watching. Make sure to join us again tomorrow for another edition of News Analytica.